ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗುಂಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತು ಸಿರಿ ಪೈಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಜೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀ ಅಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರು ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಂಪಿ ಗೋಷ ದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಾಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕಾಪದಾತ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರ ಕಮಲ ಶತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದೀಪರೂಪಂ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿನೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜವೀ ಶನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಪದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಯಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತೀ ಸಂಬೀ ಪಂಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಶುದ್ಧ್ಯಾಂ ವಿಶುದ್ಧ್ಯಾಂ ವಸುದೇವ ಸಪ್ತಿ 
जदीयते तत्रोपमृत शक्ति चस्मिन् भगवान्सुदेव हिधोक्षजो मे मनसा विधीयते सत्यम विशुद्ध्यम वसुदेव सदित तदीयते यपमृत सत्ये चस्वान्सुदेव हिधक्षजो मे मनसा विधीये गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशीला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगह पौपा परमांश जगत गुरु टोल दैट उ गौरिया ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू रिजर्व और प्रिजर्व सम स्पेशलिटी गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगह पौपा परमांश जगत गुरु टोल वी गौरिया ऑलवेज रिजर्व सम स्पेशलिटी ऑलवेज वी प्रिजर्व हैव सम स्पेशलिटी What do you mean by speciality? Speciality regarding Siddhanta Vichar, speciality regarding Siddhanta Vichar, speciality regarding Seva. Seva and Siddhanta non-different from each other. Seva, when expressed in the form of language, is become of of course a prakita language, a prakita sabda Brahma. It is called Siddhanta Vichar. and when siddhanta vichar we can find in applied form it is called seva gauriya goshti bhati sisil bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshami dagar bhopa paramanshu jagat guru told we gauriyas always reserve some speciality always we reserve some speciality speciality regarding siddhanta speciality regarding seva common people they have no idea com clear idea about what is called bhakti bhakti means to search out to seek the satisfaction to seek to seek the complete satisfaction of bhagwan is called bhakti to seek the complete satisfaction of bhagwan is called bhakti to seek the complete satisfaction of sri sadguru dev who is 100% engaged in bhagavat seva i mean who is always engaged in bhagavat seva is also called bhakti i mean to serve bhagwan bhagwan naam dham parikar vaishishto all kal bhakti bhakti always searching the satisfaction of krishna complete satisfaction if not so then if not so then surely it is not bhakti it is called abhakti if i am interested if i am very much interested to search out my personal satisfaction surely it is not called bhakti it is called abhakti just opposite of bhakti bhakti is a natural function of your soul i already told popa many time and we have no other duty we have no other duty than to do bhagavat seva only one duty we have in our life that is to serve bhagwan that is the only duty all different kind of responsibility or duty we deem we think that is called maya all different kind of duty we think we have we think we have different kind of duty and responsibility it is called maya the only duty we have in our life is to serve भगवान नथिंग एल्स शोको मोह भया पहा शोको मोह भया पहा भक्ति 
can erase all our you know shoka moha and fatuation fear all can erase from our life actually from second attention ditiyo avinivesh if we are at if our attention is there for adhyay gyan tattva then it is okay if our attention is slightly diverted from adhyay gyan tattva then second attention dual conception can come ditiyo avinivesh and from this kind of second i mean this kind of from this kind of dual conception ditiyo avinivesh second you know then different kind of fear infatuation eh can arise when we can think when we can think that bhagwan is different from bhakta bhagwan is different from his name hari naam bhagwan is different from dama then it is called second attention ditiyo avinivesh second attention if we develop dual at conception if you lose our if we lose our adhyay gyan tattva darshan then it is called maya second attention bhayam ditiyo vinivashatah sat ishat apatasya viparjay asriti when second attention coming then we can lose our track we can get diverted from the lotus from the lotus feet of guru padmapada we can get diverted from the lotus feet of balaram nityananda it is called danger of course bhagwan never like to interfere of course bhagwan never like to interfere with your personal desire of course bhagwan surely not going to interfere with the liberty given to jivatma bhagwan never like to interfere bhagwan like to see that jiv that jiv can take decision and come to me bhagwan never like to put pressure on any jeev bhagwan never like to interfere with the liberty given to jivatma jivatka personally can think whichever is good one side maya one side bhagavad dham i was speaking in bengali hari katha a hey, hindi hari katha just one uh, just some time before that there is only two seva one is guru seva another is logu seva one is guru seva another is logu seva if you are not ready to do guru seva surely you are going to do maya seva logu seva if you are not at all ready to do guru seva then surely you are going to do logu seva bhagwan like to see bhagwan is very much interested to see that one jivatma can utilize his liberty the best possible way jivatma enjoying free will if one jivatma going to utilize this free will appropriate way that jivatma can proceed towards bhagwan if jivatma if one jivatma fail to find appropriate utility of this kind of you know liberty free will 
then cannot come out of bondage. Previous previous week I was discussing about the mood of Gopakumar. Previous week I was discussing about the mood of Gopakumar. Now Gopakumar is there in Tapaluka. Tapakumar Tapaloka. Gopakumar originally from Gopakumar originally from Brindavan Govardhan. Gopakumar is a, is a coward boy, gof, his nature, everything very good. No Annavilas, nothing. He is not going against the desire of Guru Padma. Guru Padma is also Paramahansa. According to the benediction, blessing of Guru Padma, Gopakumar can go here and there according to the mood of Seva. One thing you should remember, Gopakumar is never devoid of Seva mood. This point, vital point, you should not forget. Gopakumar is never devoid of Seva mood. Gopakumar is never devoid of Seva mood. Gopakumar is established, totally established in Adhyagantata. He like to see Jagadishwar, he like to love Jagadishwar, he like to serve Jagadishwar, he is very much interested to do Harinam of Jagadishwar, very much interested. And you have no right to speak, you have no right to speak that Gopakumar having Annavilas. Gopakumar, you have no right to speak that Gopakumar have Annavilas. Because up to now, we have seen, because up to now, we have seen, there is no desire inside the heart of Gopakumar for personal enjoyment. At all any desire appear to serve Bhagavan, to look Bhagavan, this kind of desire, this kind of desire is not prohibited. You can also blame that why Gopakumar is chanchal going from here and there. You can ask this question. Point is that Gopakumar is totally surrendered unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma. I already told, if one disciple is totally surrendered unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma, then whatever Guru Pad, whatever, <coughs> then whatever the disciple doing, it is according to the desire of Guru Pad Padma. <coughs> One hundred percent inclined disciple of one Sadguru, whenever going to do anything, be sure he is controlled by the desire of Guru Pātpat. Sri Chaitanya Manabhishtam Sthapitam Jena Bhutale. Likewise, we find all our Guru Varga, those who are in line with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagur Bhopa, they wanted to implement the desire of Guru Pāt Padma. Sri Chaitanya Mahabhishto, Sri Chaitanya Mahapu wanted to establish, you know, his own desire here. Accordingly, our Guru Varga was successful. So, Gopakumar is 100% inclined unto a lotus feet, unto a lotus feet of Sadguru Pāt Padma. I mean, from whom he has received this mantra. So when Guru, when disciple is hundred percent inclined, then all the desire and mood, bhajan, everything 
is controlled by Guru Bhattu. It was the it was the standing benediction. It was the standing benediction given by Guru Path Padma Paramahansa Gurudev of Gopakumar that he can go anywhere by the power of this mantra. He can meet with Bhagavan. He can take part in Leela. This kind of benediction, blessing, this kind of blessing is almost rare. Also, Gopagumar is blessed by Guru Padma that, that he can never change his body status. All the same, like Gopagumar, he can stay. No age, no increment of age, no old age, nothing. All those points are very important. I mean, all the blessings of Paramahansa Gurudev given to Gopagumar has some inner meaning. Otherwise, no Gurudev can speak this way. So, by the desire of Guru Padma to unveil the mystery relating to that different, different planets, higher planets, Bhur, Bhubhaswa, Maho, Yano, Tapo, Loka, Gopakumar, Gopakumar expressing desire to go to higher planet like heaven, from heaven, Mahalok, eh, gradually going to Tapalok also. And there we discover now that Gopakumar not feeling satisfaction because he cannot find his Jagadish, Jagannath there, physical, cannot find. Gopakumar is feeling dissatisfaction. Gopakumar is feeling dissatisfaction because he cannot find Jagadish there, anywhere. He wanted to search out, but nowhere, nowhere he could find Jagadish there. But in heaven, Gopakumar could meet with Bhamandev, I mean Vishnu Tattha, even when he was in Puri, in Allahabad, everywhere. But now he is in problem because he cannot meet with Jagadishwar. He was informed, he was informed by the resident of Tapaloka, and already he was informed by Mahashis before that Chotushan, Sananda Sanatan, Sanat Kumar, all they are Bhagavad Avatar. All they are Bhagavad Avatar or Chotushan, they are Bhagavad Avatar. He was informed. And he also he also wanted to believe that point, but still, he wanted to meet with Jagadisha directly because there was no symptom of Bhagavan, there is no forehand, no club, wheel, nothing there in the hand of Chatusan, only like a small boy of four, five years. So Gopakuma not feeling satisfaction, not getting satisfaction inside her. He, he is habituated to take darshan of Bhagavan, worship Bhagavan, love Bhagavan, chant the holy name of Bhagavan. He is very much interested. But here, no scope to meet with Bhagavan. Only this is satisfaction that Chatushan is Bhagavad Avatar. Not only that, but also by the darshan of Chatushan. Gopagumar getting some satisfaction. Gopagumar getting some satisfaction. Also, also Tapaloka having some special qualities. Tapaloka is not a matter of joke. Tapaloka, due to the influence of Tapaloka, due to the influence of Tapaloka, 
Gopakumar feeling a little bit good, a bit, eh? a little bit good. But and also when getting the darshan of Chatushan by the influence, by the influence of Tapo, by the influence of Tapaloka and by the influence of Chatushan, Gopakumar do. Though Gopakumar want to, want to, though, though Gopakumar want to meet, want to go to Nilachal Khetra to see Jagannath, still cannot go. Though sometime Gopakumar taking decision to go back to Purushottam Dham, still cannot go because the Dham is very pure, that Tapaloka is very pure place. At the same time, the influence of Tapaloka is very big. Influence means environment is very good. There, if you like to do bhajan, you can do bhajan. Less problem is not there. And also, when when Gopakumar watching Chatushan is also feeling satisfaction. It is one kind of satisfaction. But still, all the time, he cannot take darshan of Chatushan. This is first point. Second point, he likes to meet with Bhagavan directly, not with any Shakta Vizavatar or anything. He likes to meet with Bhagavan directly. So, I already told, and Gopukuma speaking, I am usually habituated to meet with Bhagavan and Jagadishwar. But here, Chatushan, their Atmaram, I wanted to explain this, explain this word, Atmaram Ascha Manayo Nirganthya Api Urukrami Kurvanti Ahetukim Bhaktim Itvam Bhutu Gunahari. I mean, Chatushan, they are Atmaram. Atmani, Atmani Ramati Iti Atmaram. They are Atmaram. So, Atmaram means they are in absorbing mood of bhajan. They are not going to give any response to outside world. It is really unusual. They have no behavior with anybody. Chatushan always staying in absorbing mood in, you know, Atmaram, they are Atmaram. Gopaguma speaking, they are not going to give any response to my question. It is not their fault. Because they are absorbingly in their mood, Bhagavad, you know, avatar there, they are, they are. it is my audacity, it is my audacity to expect, it is really my audacity to expect any answer from them. So, I wanted to put question in front of them, but they didn't, they did not give any response to my question. Then somebody can ask, then why not you go away from that place? Gopakumar giving answer. Though we, I wanted to go away from that place very much, because I am habituated to take darshan of Jagannath. Always I am habituated to take darshan of Jagannath, Jagadish. Here, here I am going to miss, here I am going to miss that kind of opportunity. But still, I cannot go because of the influence of that Dhamma and because of the influence of that Chatushan. And I discover day by day, Gopaguma speaking, day by day, by the influence of Chatushan, Gopakuma speaking, association is a, association is the reason of your present behavior. Bhakti Mutagar also told. Association is responsible for the behavior, for the kind of behavior you are going to express. Association is the reason for that. So 
Gopakumar going to think that I am very much interested to take darshan of Bhagavan, dancing, singing, but here I am not going to get, in, get any scope. Well, and also day by day, by the association of this Atmaram Purush, Gopakumar thinking, well, day by day, month after month, by the association of that Atmaram Purush, I am also going to lose my lose my attraction for darshan. It is very dangerous. Immediately I wanted to check myself. I remember the advice of my I remember the advice already given by my Gurudev, whom I saw. Never never try to stop chanting mantra. Well, I am chanting mantra. <clears throat> Surely I am chanting mantra. I am not going to stop any day. But still, I took decision to chant the mantra exclusive way without any, without any chanchal bhav. Chanchal means matter. Matter is not there. But still, Gopakuma thinking, my mind is now unstable. I took decision because it is the standing order by Gurudev. I wanted to pay, I wanted to pay full attention to the instruction of Guru Padma to chant mantra heavy way. I am following my Guru Padma, but still, I am giving, I wanted to concentrate, I wanted to concentrate in Nam Japa. For Bhagavad Darsh, Bhagavad Darshanasa, Bhagavad darshan asa cha mahati phalita no me uta abhut viramanti vati sham sang sabhavataha. Day by day, my tremendous attraction for Bhagavan, I mean to take darshan of Bhagavan, going to diminish, going to reduce by the association of Chatusham. Because Chatusham, Atmaram, they are not searching anything outside. I am also going to, by the influence of those Chatusham, also going to you know, lose my strong attraction for Bhagavad Darshan. Also, I cannot go away. I already told the reason for why I cannot go away. Tatra tathapi avasam tesham prabhava bharo darshanat Guru bhak gauravo gauravat Guru bhak gauravad drishto phalatvat Chattayano japano Tatra athapi avasam Tehisham Prabhav Bharo Darshana Guru Bhak Gauravat Drishto Palatvat Attajan Japano I couldn't leave that place because of the influence of Chatusha. Anyway, also I never forgot the instruction of Gurudev to chant mantra with full attention, concentration. Guru Bhaga Guru Bhada Drishta Phalatvat Attajano Japan. I started chanting mantra with full concentration. I started chanting mantra with full attention without moving here and there. Without moving here and there, I started chanting mantra with full attention. And it was a miracle that the mantra giving tremendous, tremendous response. That mantra giving tremendous response. I wonder how possible. I was thinking. Then immediately I could realize that this is Tapaloka. Immediately 
immediately i could realize the immediately i could realize the ready made success immediate success of this mantra because i started thinking after the oh ho it is tapa loka environment environment of tapa loka is so nice the influence of tapa loka the influence the influence of tapa loka total environment is so nice that this tapa loka and the influence of tapa loka tapa loka going to contribute in my mantra japa that's why so quickly i'm getting response of chanting mantra of course the mantra can give response it was the blessing of guru patma you already told sthano sabhavayat sthano sabhavayat chitto prasadat anandato adhikam teno sampadda maneno shad diksha vivardhita i was almost going to lose my desire to take darshan of bhagavan because i was getting association chaturshan chaturshan paramansa they are closing their eyes they have no connection with our external world but finally by the desire of gurudev i wanted to concentrate in harinam without moving here and there finally again i developed that kind of tremendous desire to meet with jagadishwar i thought it is very bad i am going to lose my you know desire to meet with bhagwan i mean the desire actually reducing day by day so Gopakuma speaking. Sthano shabhava yat chitto prasadat ananda to adhikam teno sampadda maneno sad diddikshya vivardhita. Due to the influence of that dham, due to the influence of that dhamma, the environment is very good, very pure. so very shortly i could get response to my mantra japa i mean again i could again i could develop my tremendous desire again again i could develop my tremendous desire to meet with bhagwan is also due to this mantra japa sthano sabhava चित्तो प्रसाद स्थान स्वभाव चित्त प्रसाद आनंद तो स्थान स्वभाव चित्त प्रसाद आनंद तो अधिक स्थान स्वभाव चित्त स्थान स्वभाव चित्त प्रसाद आनंद तो अधिक तेन संपद्यमन शादीक्षया विवर्धिता स्थान स्वभाव चित्त प्रसाद आनंद तो अधिक तेन संपद्यमन शादीक्षया विवर्धिता सदा निराचले जगन् सदा नीलाचले राजद जगन्नाथ दिदीक्षया जिजासुम तत्रो संलक्षा बुब्रित मां पिप्पलायन पिप्पलायन सदा नीलाचले राजद जगन्नाथ दिदीक्षया जिजासुम तत्रो संलक्षा बुब्रित मां pippalayana when i was very much interested to go back to nilachal dham to take darshan of jagannath i was feeling it very 
I was feeling a tremendous attraction for Jagannath. Shada nila chale rajat Jagannath didikshaya jija sum tatru shanglak chavu pritmam pipalayana. When I, was, when I was feeling tremendous attraction to meet with Jagannath immediately, Jagannath is there in Nilachal Dham. Jagannath is giving darshan to everybody, very free darshan. In the whole world, no such temple you can find where no restriction of darshan. I mean, all the time. Only sometime Bhuga, Arati, this and also preparation of Arati, this song, little bit, a little bit. Dressing, when dressing, otherwise darshan is open whole day up to 12 o'clock, right from the morning, Arati. Shada nila chale rajat jagannath didikshaya jijasum Tatra Sanglakshya Sanglakshava Brit Maam Pipalayana My, my tremendous desire to, to go to Nirachal Dham, Purushottam Dham, to meet with Jagannath, increasing. In the meantime, Pipalayana, I mean the one exalted personality, Rishi, Pipalayana Rishi, out of Nava Jogendra, nine Jogendras are there. By birth, they are Brahmachari. By birth, they are Brahmachari. Nava Jogendra, nine Jogendras are there. Nava Jogendra. Out of Nava Jogendra, the third Jogendra, Pipalayan, is very merciful to me. After watching this kind of tremendous desire to leave this Tapa Loka. He was very much merciful to me. He appeared in front of me, appeared automatically without any invitation. Without any invitation, suddenly, without any invitation, suddenly, Pipalayan, I mean, one out of Nava Yogendra Rishi appeared in front of me to check, to check my going, to check my going and started speaking. Now people can say, you can put question, that how people I am receive could realize they like to go away from Tapaloka? Money received, they are merciful. How Angira Rishi, Narad Rishi, how they could realize, how they could realize that Chitragadu Raja is feeling disturbance, how they could realize the heart of Chitragadu Raja is burning, how Chit how they could realize, I mean, Angira Rishi or Narodji, how they could realize that Chitta Kutu Raja, his heart is burning. This is quite natural. Because those Munirishis, they can perceive, they can realize what is there inside my heart. If they want to know that, if they are at all interested to know anything about my heart, they can know. We have seen in our life. Guru Pātpada, without watching, without any information, I have seen myself. Without any information, without going, without going here and there, Guru Pātpadmo could realize the heart of somebody. I was there in Kalna. I went to Calcutta from there, Kalna. 
how it was possible for guru pad padma to understand that i am feeling sorry i am feeling pain inside heart how possible somebody wanted to insult me somebody wanted to check my seva didn't allow me to do free seva speaking all rubbish so i was feeling sorry that time guru pad padma could realize the point and wrote one letter to me that letter is still today there with me of course you cannot read the hand hand is shaking so much shaking my point is that guru vaishnav bhagavan they can realize everything everything they can if they want to no so people i am receive could realize the heart of gopakumar by watching his dry face in different attitude some a little bit chanchal bhav people and rishi could realize and immediately reached immediately reached the place where gopakumar was people and rishi wanted to check people and rishi wanted to check his going people and rishi wanted to stop his going check his going from tapaloka it's a very nice place elevated place so people and rishi suggesting idam mahatpadam hitva katham anyad jijas jijasasi katham ba bhramasi drashtum drigbham tat tvam parameshwaram idam mahatpadam hitva katham anyad jijasasi katham ba bhramasi drashtum digbham tat parameshwaram tam parameshwaram tam you why why you are taking trouble why you are taking trouble so much to meet with bhagavan why you like to go away from this very nice place tapaloka very highly elevated place why you like to go away why idam mahatpadam hitva akatham anyad jiyasasi katham va bhramasi drashtum drigbham tvam parameshwaram there is a question because people and rishi could realize the heart of gopakuma he is very much interested to go away to nilachal khetra is very much interested to leave this tapaloka so out of causeless mercy people and rishi wanted to check his going and wanted to advise why you like to watch bhagwan with his material eyes why brahma sankar they also cannot take darshan of bhagwan without the approval of bhagwan himself it is written in kitta rupa goshi pad writing bakti mun thakur writing brahma sankar they also cannot if bhagwan desire so can give darshan a little bit you know the kitta written by rupa goshi pad कृष्ण देव बवंतम वंदे हरिदेव बवंतम वंदे यद्यपि समाधिषु विरपि पाश्यति न तव न खग्रम रीचिम हैं यद्यपि समाधिषु विरपि पाश्यति सम टाइम इन हिज सम टाइम इन हिज मेडिटेशन शंकर ब्रह्मा कैन सी फिजिकली इंपॉसिबल physically impossible 
physically impossible how can say physically impossible to see but still if bhagwan desire so if bhagwan desire so bhagwan can do anything what he like like one example <coughs> When Bhagavan appear, when Bhagavan appear in this material platform, like Ram Chandra, Bhagavan ki Shri Chandra, Gaur Chandra, they become visible of common people, right or not? All common people, those who are coming in front of Ram Chandra, even dog, cats. birds they can also see manarishi everybody can see everybody can see even jagai ma they can see goranga ma prabhu chapal bol chapal gopal can also see but this is not actual darshan try to understand chapal gopal can also see jagai ma they can also see but that darshan is not actual darshan because they are because they are material darshan because they are material darshan because they are material darshan can never allow them because they are material darshan can never allow them to see bhagwan but you mean you understand what i mean to say to see bhagwan as bhagwan to see bhagwan as a normal boy to see bhagwan just like ordinary man is not bhagavad darshan of course i am not speaking about the darshan of jashodama nandova you must be very careful follow i am speaking about the darshan of putona putona could not see balgopal as bhagavan nanda baba jasoda maiya nanda baba jasoda ma they also not going to think that he is bhagavan but there is infinity difference between the darshan of putona and nanda jasoda nanda jasoda ma enjoying full prema full affection 100 100% a prakita affection nanda baba jasoda ma they have an ending affection a prakita affection for the boy for their boy they think krishna is our son it's okay this darshan is guided by jog maya this darshan is guided by jog maya when bhagwan sri krishna wanted to show jashodama infinity brahmanda resting inside his face mouth inside his mouth bhagwan sri krishna wanted to show infinity brahmanda inside his mouth but still jashodama was not ready to accept the siddhanta that krishna is my krishna is bhagwan tremendous affection tremendous affection tremendous affection tremendous affection and minus krishna is my tremendous affection and minus krishna is my son could not allow jashoda ma to feel anything affluence anything abnormal rather jashoda ma was thinking some ghost some ghost going to overpower jashoda ma thinking some ghost some ghost going to overpower 
my boy so i see what is this there inside face mouth inside the mouth oh ghost going to catch but actually krishna wanted to show infinity brahmand putana har darshan is guided by maya putana har darshan was guided by maya durjodhan his darshan was guided by maya that's why even after watching vishwarup even after watching vishwarup durjodhan could not realize this bhagavan on the contrary he wanted to arrest krishna he wanted to arrest krishna he wanted to put him into jail he wanted to arrest krishna he wanted to put him inside jail that was the darshan so one darshan is mahamaya guided by mahamaya sajan bimohini maya and durjan in bengali we say durjan bimohini maya those wicked demon and rakshas witches their darshan is guided by mahamaya they are overwhelmed they are overwhelmed by the maya mahamaya so the darshan of durjodhan is not perfect darshan the darshan of putana is not appropriate darshan darshan of chapal gopal surely not perfect darshan darshan of jagai madai surely not perfect darshan not perfect with this material eyes really so really so really so with this material eyes no one can take darshan of bhagwan no one can take darshan of bhagwan even in sandarbha jiva goshi pad writing bhagwan is decorated with infinity shakti in sandarbha in sandarbha jiva goshi pad writing that bhagwan all powerful omnipresent supreme lord bhagwan sri krishna is decorated with infinity shakti it is quite natural because according to vedanta sutra we have idea that shakti shakti mathur abhir shakti is non different from shakti man possessor bhagwan sri krishna having shakti shakti cannot have any separate existence shakti cannot have any separate existence from the man who own who own the shakti who own the shakti shakti cannot stay separately from the man who own the shakti sha shakti shakti mathur abhet my power is there inside me follow or is shak so as per vedanta sutra also we can know shakti shakti mathur abhet shakti shakti man non different mean jiva goshi was writing in sandarbha very nice siddhanta that bhagwan supreme lord is decorated with infinity shakti potency but as and when necessary as and when it is necessary bhagwan can express the shakti not that all shakti can work at a time as and when required bhagwan can express the shakti so the jiva go say by writing bhagwan can appear in front of a devotee can appear but the man cannot see bhagwan 
until and unless Bhagavan going to bestow kipa on that devotee, I mean, shop prakashata shakti. You remember one common sloka. I think you can remember the common sloka. Bhagavan speaking, Mad Bhaktu Yatru Gayanti Tattur Tishtami Narada. I think surely you can remember one common sloka, very common sloka. Mad Bhaktu Yatru Gayanti Tattur Tishtami Narada. Hey Narad, Bhagavan speaking to Naraji Maharaj. Narad, when my devotee, when my devotee chanting Harinam and Harikatha, singing my name and glories, be sure I am staying there. I am staying there. Don't forget, Narad, whenever my devotee is singing my glories, naturally I am present there. Madhbhakto yatru gayanti tattu tishtami narada. Now question can come, when Prabhupada speaking Harikatha, Bhakti Vinutaka speaking Harikatha, eh? Parma Siddhar Goswami speaking Harikatha, <coughs> why we cannot see Bhagavan? Because it is a standing, a commitment of Bhagavan. Bhagavan speaking, whenever my devotee is singing song, my glories, I present there. But we cannot find Bhagavan there. Here, my Guru Padpadam Paramahamsa, Sestra, Sister, Bhakti, Pumat, Turi, Shema, speaking Harikatha. I never saw Bhagavan directly there, place. There is one point that Jiva Goswami wanted to clarify this point. Bhagavan is Shattabrata. Whatever Bhagavan speaking cannot be lie. Bhagavan is Shattabrata. Shattasya Shattam Nitancha Shatti Shatvyatmakam Shatvyatmakam Tvam Saranam Papanya. Shattasya Shattam Nitancha Shatti. So many. You are the original truth. Bhagavan, your speech truth. Whatever you say, whatever determine, all, all absolute truth. It cannot be false. But still, we cannot see Bhagavan when Prabhupada speaking Harikatha, Bhakti Nitagaru speaking Harikatha, Bhakti Pramod Purigashima speaking Harikatha. We cannot find Bhagavan Maharaj. So, how we can believe that Jiva Goswami wanted to solve this, solve this point? Jiva Goswami wanted to solve this problem. Jiva Goswami was speaking, well, Bhagavan is decorate, decorated with Ananta Shakti. But as and when required, Bhagavan can apply, engage the Sakti, and accordingly we can be present. So when Bhagavan is there, <coughs> when Hari, Harikatha Prabhupada speaking, <coughs> Bhaktivinoda is speaking, any pure devotee, Any, any pure devotee, when speaking Harikatha, then Bhagavan is bound to stay there. Like the case of one great devotee in Chandra Sarupan. He was blind, Shurdas. I already told. He is Shurdas. That was a special case. Surjaji Maharaj was externally blind, internally he was very clear vision, darshan was there. But externally, Surjaji Maharaj was blind. He used to go to sing Kirtan in front of Sinaji Maharaj, Jatipura, long distance. From Chandasarabhar, Jyotipura, long distance. How it, it was possible for a blind man to go there daily, continuously for 80 years, 100 years. Continuously used to go. In old age, with one bamboo lati, 
one stick, bamboo stick, used to go. And I, I have one picture, it is not philosophy. So many evidence there. At that time, Bhagavan used to come and sit in front of Surdasji to hear Harikatha with full attention, Kirtan. When Surdasji used to sing Kirtan, when Surdasji used to sing, used to hear, used to do kirtan when surdas ji used to do kirtan then bhagwan used to come out of come and uh, bhagwan used to come in front of him to hear kirtan with full attention also i told one devotee haridas not our haridas he is also exalted devotee he used to stay there in Vrindavan at the bank of Jamuna. At present, the name of the place is Bake Bihari. Bake Bihari. When he used to sing Kirtan, Bake Bihari, he used to hear with full attention. And when Popa Bhaktivinu Thakur speaking Harikatha, Bhagwan is physically present, but you cannot see. Because one Shakti, one excellent Shakti of Bhagwan is to express himself in front of devotee. Follow. There is one special Shakti, there, there is one special Shakti, Bhagwan is, Bhagwan is decorated with one special Shakti. Bhagavan is decorated with one special Shakti that is called Self-Manifesting Shakti. Follow what I say. If this Self-Manifesting Shakti, when, when this, when this Self-Manifesting Shakti, we can, when, when Self-Manifesting Shakti, Bhagavan can use, in that case, Bhagavan can appear in front of devotee. In front of devotee. Bhagavan can appear, cannot appear. We cannot put, we cannot put any pressure on Bhagavan. Bhagavan can appear, cannot appear. It depends. Like the case of Naraji. If we discuss about his previous life, there also Bhagavan appeared inside his heart for fraction of second. Darshan. Follow. Inside his heart. Also Bhagavan appeared in front of Sarvamu Bhattachajyo with six hand. <coughs> Sarabhuj. Bhagavan appeared in front of so many devotees. But Bhagavan can appear, cannot appear. How it was possible for King, for King Pratabruddha? How it was possible for Sarvam Vartachajyo? How it was possible for Kashimishro to watch the excellent Lila Bhagavan, that Bhagavan dan dancing in seven Sampradaya? How it was possible for them to watch that Bhagavan dancing in seven group. How it was possible for them to watch that Bhagavan dancing at a time in seven different groups? Because according to the desire of Bhagavan, Shaprakashata Shakti, according to the desire of Bhagavan, Shaprakashata Shakti, was effective in that place. But miracle, all other devotees, Sarvam, all other devotees, Shiva, Sachajyo, Godad, everybody there. But it was not the desire of Bhagavan to unveil this mystery. 
It was not the desire of Bhagwan to unveil this mystery in front of everybody. As a special case. There was a special case in front of Duba Maharaj. The special case in front of Duba Maharaj. Duba Maharaj doing bhajan. Bhagwan appear. Bhagwan wanted to appear in front of him by the help of self-manifesting Shakti. It was a special case. Otherwise, Bhagavan is present. When pure Harikatha going on, when pure Harikatha going on, it's sure, 100%. 100%. When pure Harikatha going on, Bhagavan must be there. But we can see, cannot see. It depends upon the desire of Bhagavan. So, Bhagavan, if want to desire, like the case of Prabhupada, when Prabhupada doing 100 crores Nam Jagya, then Bhagavan appeared with all previous Acharyas like Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, Gaurgis, everybody all appeared, Guru Bhargava. Panchatattha appeared, appeared in front of Prabhupada and gave Darshan. So now I can come back to my original point. I am in the case of Gopakumar. What I mean to say, I mean, what people and Rishi wanted to say, my son, by the help of this material eyes, nobody can take darshan of Bhagavan. It is not possible. Even about Brahma, it is written, even about Brahma, after doing austerities and penances for thousands of years, Dibba, Dibba, Barsha, year. Dibba, one thousand years, Bhagavan appeared inside his heart. Also, at the bank of Kira Ocean, when Brahma went together with all demigods to pray Bhagavan to appear because it is too much. Kamsa, Shishupal, Dantabarka, Shishupal, Jarasandha, Kansa, they are too much, <clears throat> too much excesses. So, Bhagavan, Brahma, wanted to reach Kira Ocean and all demigods also, when they, it is written there, only and only Brahma, no one else. <coughs> only and only Brahma could see Bhagavan with manas chokhu, mental eyes, not with the physical eyes. Manas chokhu. And when Brahma discovered himself in the lotus feet regarding creation, before creation. I am going back again there. Before creation, Brahma started doing astrology and penances and Brahma could not realize who am I. Brahma could discover himself sitting in the lotus flower, where, what is the lotus flower, where from coming, how I took birth, all wanted to know, and for Dibba, thousand years of austerities and penances, Bhagavan appeared inside his heart to give darshan and speak with him directly. So, mind is the main thing. So, mind is a vital instrument. Mind is a very vital instrument. In bonded condition, mind can act as a traitor. In free condition, when you are getting the association of pure devotees, in that case, your mind can act as a friend, blue zoom friend. Mano eva manushvanam karano bandhanam akshayo. 
this this mind is the reason of your bondage cause of your bondage this mind is the cause of your bondage and this very mind can be the cause of your mukti it depends upon how exclusive way you are successful to engage your mind it depends bhakti vinod tagore speaking our mind is chidabhas our mind our in material condition our mind is all chidabhas not chit only and only mind is acting as chidabhas like namabhas you know namabhas not actual name it is like name namabhas mean not name like name similarly mind is like chit vastu but actually chidabhas not chit but one facility you can get what is that if you are going to get the association of sadhu guru vishnu if you are going to get the help kripa of ananta dev ananta dev then you can extend your mind up to infinity extend extension follow what is it mind is chidabhas only and only this chidabhas mind even in bonded condition sometime we are thinking that we are in the space going to moon moon chandra loka surya loka here there sometime we imagine in the sky infinity planets and stars are there we can imagine even einstein can imagine einstein can realize the magic spell of time space and matter relative thing he could realize so it depends so mind can be extended only and only body cannot be extended mind can be extended even mind can move even mind can even mind can move more faster than the velocity of light yes or not 1 lakhs 84 thousands kilometer per hour miles 1 lakh kilometer per second fraction of second can light can move but though you cannot find any though you cannot measure though you cannot measure the material though you cannot measure the velocity of mind but you should remember mind is also matter you should not forget bhumi rap analo khan mano buddhi revacha ahankar ityam me prakriti rashtra so mind is matter don't think a mind is aprakita no in material condition but still it is written that mind can be extended by the help of mind scientist can watch different kind of philosophy can make different kind of research and finally can discover some thing like understand mind is material we know surely the mind of einstein was not a prakita but still since mind is chidavas mind is chidavas i don't know how einstein was successful to engage his mind to extend his mind up to certain limit which is impossible for common man to realize it is almost next to impossible to realize that einstein could realize 
that any object is a concentrated form of energy that is only the secrecy this is the only secrecy there in our chandi in our vedic culture vedic literature ya devi sarva bhuteshu shakti rupena sanasthita einstein could realize any matter in this world is a concentrated form of energy i mean energy can be converted into matter and matter can also be converted into energy vice versa follow all the energy maya shakti by the help of you know by the help of bhagwan pradhan hain eh? prakriti pradhan i mean pradhan or prakriti nature and purusha chetan vastu jivatma together this creation whole creation so if i ask you how it was it was possible for bhagwan to create so many things to create so many things if i ask where from those you know matter coming before creation before creation was in the form of shakti maya shakti material creation aprakita dam aprakita shakti shandini shakti but material is maya shakti nature so shakti was converted into matter sun god moon god or countless and you know, uh, countless stars and planets everything in the space all coming from bhagwan infinity creation so finally it was in, originally it was in the form of shakti finally taking the form of matter and when destruction can take place when all matters can take a fine form of shakti and enter into bhagwan follow what i say so it is not impractical for it is not impractical for for you know pippalan rishi to advise gopakumar to stay there in tapaloka don't be busy don't try to see bhagwan with his eyes because bhagwan can never be a sin with his eyes but still a bhagwan desire so can do anything what bhagwan like it is a abnormal bhagwan can so it was the advice of pipalan rishi to gopakumar pipalan speaking idam mahatpadam hitva katham anyad jija sasi katham ba bhramasi drashtum drigvam tvam parameshwaram why 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 you are so much busy to see bhagwan by the help of your darshan shakti by your vision power he like to take darshan of bhagwan is absurd why you like to live this place tapaloka very nice place so people and rishi giving advice to gobakumar shama dhats manah siyam tato dakshashi tvam satah people and rishi speaking they you try to concentrate your mind meditation shama dhatso manah siyam tato drakshashi tam satah automatically you can take darshan of bhagwan 
if you are successful to get control of your mind if you can concentrate if you can do meditation shama dhatso manah siyam tato dakshashi tvam satah then automatically you can see sarvatro bahirantascha sada sakshadivo sthitam bhagavan is everywhere bhagavan is everywhere believe me bhagavan is omnipresent omniscient omnipresent eh so you can like the case of jashodama jashodama wanted to bind gopal bal gopal jashodama wanted to bind bal gopal bal gopal but jashodama was not successful because the desire of devotee and the desire of bhagwan when cons reconcile i mean you know i mean when the desire of bhagwan and devotee you know meet together then the question of success that's why it is written there na bhishan na bhishantar jagatah and you know, on this you know not antar na bahir yasu na purvam na picha param eh there shukdev was saying speaking that bhagwan is endless bhagwan has no limitation our imagination power has some limitation our thinking power our brain power everything has some limitation but bhagwan is infinity bhagwan is infinity so bhagwan is everywhere each and every dust particle can prove that bhagwan is there if bhagwan wants so like the case of प्रहलाद महाराज सत्यम विधातुम निज वित्त भाषित भगवान वॉन्टेड टू प्रूफ भगवान वॉन्टेड टू प्रूफ दैट माई डिवोटी नेवर स्पीकिंग लाइ सत्यम विधातुम निज निज वित्त भाषित भगवान वॉन्टेड टू प्रूफ दैट माई डिवोटी नेवर स्पीक लाइ सो भगवान वॉज बाउंड टू एपियर इन साइड आ a and say in inside a column pillar satyam vidhatum nijavitta vasitam when hiranyakashipu was asking your bhagwan everywhere yes even i can find inside this you know pillar yes he is also there then hiranyakashipu wanted to break destroy that pillar and from and from inside that play, pillar hiranyakashipu appeared to prove that my devotee never speaking lie so bhagwan is omnipresent bhagwan is omniscient bhagwan is all powerful everything aishajya sya samagra sya jasa sa sriyo gyano vairagya cheti he shado iti bhava ingana six kind of appliances infinity there in bhagwan no limitless there is no limit so people and rishi wanted to advise him samadhatso manah siyam tato dakshasi tvam satah bhagwan if you can concentrate your mind by the help of meditation you can see bhagwan clearly tato dakshashi tvam satah automatically bhagwan can appear and give give you darshan why you are you know like to leave this place that place why samadhatsa samadhat samanah siyam tato dakshashi tvam satah because bhagwan is everywhere नाच अंतर्जस्व 
हैं न पूर्वम न पिछापरम फलो इस भगवान ऑल्सो इन साइड यू आउट साइड यू इन इन्फिनिटी वर्ल्ड वेर एवर यू गो सर्वत्र बहिंत सदा साक्षात इव स्थित भगवान इज एवरीवे अननेसरिली यू आर टेकिंग ट्रावल टू सर्च आउट भगवान दिस वे यू लाइक टू सी भगवान बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस आईज बट यू कैन नॉट सी आफ्टर दैट पीपल एन विश स्पीकिंग परमात्मा वासुदेव सच्चिदानंद विग्रह परमात्मा वासुदेव सच्चिदानंद विग्रह नितांत शोधित चित्ते स्फुरते नचान्नत बाय अदर प्रोसिडियो पीपल एन रिसीव स्पीकिंग बाय एनी ऑल्टरनेटिव प्रोसिडियो यू कैन नॉट सी भगवान बिकॉज परमात्मा परमात्मा वासुदेव सच्चिदानंद विग्रह नितांत शोधित चित्ते स्फुरत एश न च अन्नथ बाय अदर प्रोसिडियोर ऑल्टरनेटिव प्रोसिडियोर यू कैन नेवर कम आउट सक्सेसफुल बिकॉज भगवान इज स्टेइंग इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ एवरीबॉडी एज परमात्मा परमात्मा वासुदेव सच्चिदानंद विग्रह भगवान इज सच्चिद आनंदमय विग्रह भगवान इज सच्चिद आनंदमय विग्रह इज स्टेइंग इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ एवरीबॉडी एज परमात्मा परमात्मा वासुदेव सच्चिदानंद विग्रह नितांत शोधित चित्ते स्फुरत एश चा न चान्नत नितांत शोधित चित्ते वेन योर हार्ट इज टोटली क्लीन नो मैटर नो मैटर नो स्मेल ऑफ मैटर वेन 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 देर इज नो स्मेल ऑफ एनी मैटर when there is no smell of any matter totally pure totally clean pure in that case you can see bhagwan inside your heart that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu wanted to teach us cheto darpana marjanam bhava mahadavagni nirvaparam shri koiri vachandika vitaranam vidyavadu jivanam vidyavadu jivanam anandan budhi vardanam pratipadam purnam to aswadan सर्वात्म स्नपनम परम विजय तो श्रीकृष्ण संकीर्तन बिकॉज बाय संकीर्तन इफ आर हार्ट इज क्लीन इन दैट केस संकीर्तन पिता कैन एपियर इन साइड आवर हार्ट बिकॉज संकीर्तन ऑफ भगवान एंड भगवान नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इच अदर आई एम डूइंग संकीर्तन ऑफ भगवान आई एम डूइंग संकीर्तन ऑफ भग आई एम डूइंग संकीर्तन ऑफ भगवान so bhagwan surely present in my sankirtan in fine form so cheto darpana marjanam is a, is a, is a lesson given to us by chaitanya mahaprabhu or also i can remind you one shloka from bhagavatam 11th canto there yatha yatha atma parimijyate asho matpunna gatha sabano vidhanai tatha tatha pashyati vastu suksham chakshu saivo अंजन संप्रजुक्त सो इफ पीपल एंड ऋषि वॉन्टेड टू टीच दिस वे नॉट रॉन्ग बट वी कैन डिस्कस ऑल इन डिटेल्स वॉट इज अक्रेसी परमात्मा वासुदेव सच्चिदानंद विग्रह निता नितांत शोधित चित्ते स्फुरत एश न चान्नत when completely clean when our heart when our heart become completely clean no smell of any matter nature nothing <coughs> then bhagwan can appear inside our heart <sighs> you 
यू कैन रिमेम्बर द केस ऑफ नारद जी महाराज नारद जी महाराज स्पीकिंग अबाउट इज प्रीवियस लाइफ हाउ एक्सक्लूसिवली ही वॉज बिजी सर्चिंग भगवान हेयर एंड देयर आफ्टर मादर गोन आफ्टर मादर गोन द ओनली सपोर्ट आफ्टर मादर गोन द ओनली सपोर्ट फ्रॉम इज लाइफ देन ही वॉज बिजी सर्चिंग भगवान हेयर एंड देयर इन भागवतम फर्स्ट कैन थ्रो यू कैन फाइन we can see narad ji maharaj was very tired after traveling so many fields and cities shahar gram village all traveling without any without any food or without any water when reaching one very nice place that at the bank at the bank of a very lagoon lagoon i mean lake a city natural lake there are trees and plants are there trees and plants he is taking birth taking bath there in the lake he wanted to drink water from that lake and he did after drinking water he wanted to sit in a particular place supporting one back side tree to take rest and inside mind heart he was thinking that what i can do how i can meet with bhagwan how i can meet with bhagwan in his life in his life in his life i mean in the life of narad ji maharaj's previous life he could get nice association sadhu sangha and now narad ji maharaj thinking about what all he heard from munirishi now narad ji was sitting under a tree getting one support of a tree backside tree and sitting and concentrating about bhagwan i mean what he already heard from munirishis that is thinking in the meantime suddenly bhagwan appeared inside his heart for a fraction of second and immediately disappeared then narad ji maharaj i mean the small boy previous life speaking narad ji maharaj speaking about his previous life the small boy was restless where where bhagwan i saw him for a fraction of second but where disappear then there was one aerial voice there was one aerial voice you should remember don't forget in aerial voice and eh, it is it is in aerial voice we can find that bonded soul cannot take cannot get my darshan because there is a though there is no matter but still there is one marking one red mark like in one pot for long time you are taking tree you can find some red mark follow सो अभिपक्क कसायान अभिपक्क कसायान द एरियल बॉयज वॉज दैट अभिपक्क कसायान दुर्दर्शो दुर्दर्शो अहम कुजोगिना विथ दिस डिस्कशन आई कैन स्टॉप टूडे अभिजित है ना इट इज रिटिन अभिपक्क कसायान अभिपक्क अभिपक्क कसायान दुर्दर्श अहम कुजोगिना दैट आई कैन डिस्कस टुमोरो व्हाट भगवान इन व्हाट भगवान वांट टू डू हाउ भगवान वांटेड टू गिव दर्शन फॉर फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड 
why Bhagavan disappeared, that I can discuss tomorrow and I can give the example of the previous life of Naraji Maharaj as a, as a boy, what happened, I can speak tomorrow, excuse me, today I am going to stop here. Also the sloka I started with, is very important sloka, it is from Fourth can fourth can two third chapter Satyam Vishuddyam Basudeva Sabditam Jadi Yate Tatrupuma Napabrita Shakti Chatasmin Bhagavan Vasudeva He Adhuk Chaju Me Manasa Vidhiyati Tomorrow I can explain. Bancha kalpa dorosi ke pasindi bercha, pati tanam pavane bhavishna bhyo namo.